from boys volleyball to boys baseball, we've, we've got, got the, the scoop. scoop. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Centurions. Today is May 12, 2016. And on this day, 1957, race car driver A.J. Foyt scores his first professional victory in a U.S. Automobile Club midget car race in Kansas City, Missouri. Also, in this day in history, on, his, on this day in 1907, Catherine Hepburn, who due to her performances in such films as The Philadelphia Story and On Golden Pond, will become one of the most celebrated actresses of the 20th century. Don't worry, Centurions, we didn't forget. If today is your birthday, then happy, happy birthday. birthday! Movie actor Luke Benward became known to audiences for his childhood roles in How to Eat Fried Worms in 2006 and Minutemen in 2008. He also played Will in the 2014 film Cloud9 alongside Mike C. Manon and Dove Cameron. Before fame, he had his first acting role at the age of five in 2002 film We Were Soldiers. He starred in the 2011 TV movie Girl vs. Monster and provided the song had me at hello for the soundtrack. Not only him, but baby soccer player Eric Duran, fullback who joined Borussia Dortmund in 2013 and became a member of the German national team in 2014. Before fame, he began his youth career with S.G. Riz Risenweiler in 1997. He was born in Permanence, Germany. Not only that, but today also means for us seniors there's only 21 more days left. How exciting. Very exciting. <laughs> Last week on Monday evening at the <laughs> Gordon Grove Courtyard Gallery Center, we had five advanced drawing and painting students who were finalists in the 46th Annual District Congressional Art Competition which was sponsored by Congresswoman Loretta Sanchez. These five finalists were Hector Guerrero, Jelly Ram Kelly Ramirez, Jose Velez, Daniel Orozco, Jasmine Amaya. They were honored among 45 finalists out of 100 entries from high schools in Santa Ana, Garden Grove, and Anaheim. They enjoyed refreshments and taquitos <laughs> while being at Sunny High School Art. Congratulations to these five fine artists. Attention all science club members and arts and crafts students who will be attending the Disney Yes trip. You guys will have an important meeting this Thursday in room 403. Permission slips will be handed out and chaperone groups will be finalized. Also, science club members, don't forget that the deadline for banquet permission slips is Thursday. Make sure to turn in your permission slip as soon as possible. The UCI mentors are especially wanting you seniors so you can receive your stole to wear at graduation. Also, you science club members will be making decorations for the banquet after school this week and don't forget to bring your movie posters. Seniors! Once again, we would like to remind the seniors that our graduation ceremony will be at Centennial Park. And the ceremony will start at 8, not 7. The graduation date is still June 15th. Ruby? Yeah. Did you ever have a favorite Disney Channel movie? The first thing that pops in my head is High School Musical, not gonna lie. Well, you know, I heard something about High School Musical. Wow, that's right, Centurions. They are having cast calling for High School Musical 4. So for those who still want to make their dream come true. The cast callings will start May 15th. 
you have to be at least 14 years old to 17 years old. It will take place in the Anaheim Convention Center. It will begin at 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. For more information, you can go to the website www.disneychannel.com slash open call. Now to sports. Varsity Boys Baseball will be playing against our rival Valley today here at Century at 7 p.m. Our very own Orange League Champs Boys Volleyball will be going up to Templeton High School, home of the Chickens, I mean Eagles, today for the second Hello. round of the CIF at 5 p.m. So wish them luck. Girls softball had their game yesterday against Catella, and it was their last league home game. And the girls did not take the win, but they did put a lot of work and effort to it, and our softball seniors will be missed. So, Ruby, what are you doing on Saturday? This Saturday? Yes, this Saturday. Well, nothing really. Like, V, we can go prom just shopping. Never mind, it's too late. Sorry. Prom is just right around the corner. Tickets are on sale for $75 with an ASB card and $80 without. So, buy your tickets. That wasn't what I wanted to tell you, but yes, prom is going to be on May 28th. Bruby, I was going to tell you about the readathon and more on that here in the studio. We have Cindy Ung with more details. Oh, uh, hi, Centurions. So, a National Honor Society is holding its third annual readathon this Saturday. It starts at 8 o'clock and ends at 1.30. All you have to do is meet at the Centuries Library and bring a book. And if you don't have a book, uh, we'll provide a small collection of books and comic books for you to read for a few hours. You have to stay there the whole time in order to be eligible to win prizes in our opportun opportunity drawing. And we, as of now, we have over $1,000 worth of prizes to give away. So that's over 70 items for us to give to you to bring home. And just yesterday, we got a bunch more donations, um, s such as gift cards from Olive Garden, uh, tickets to the Santa Ana Zoo, AMZ tickets, Knott's Berry Farm tickets, Barnes & Noble gift cards. It's, just, it's endless. So please come and help us uh, celebrate in the cultivating the love of reading. Thank you. Thank you, Cindy. So I suggest every student to go. I mean, what more could you want? And so you guys know senior activities are coming up and more on that. Here we have an interview with Mr. Menchaca. Hi, Centurions. I'm here with Mr. Menchaca and he's here to tell us a little bit more about the senior activities that are coming up. Thank you so much. Good morning, everybody. So one of the highlights of our senior activity is definitely going to be prom, and that's going to be May 28th, and I understand it's going to be an awesome event put together by junior ASB students. The uh, guidance department is putting together a senior barbecue on June 3rd. We're having barbecue chicken and all the amazing uh, barbecue uh, side dishes that go with it. It'll be during your lunch. It's on a Friday. But one of the uh, big events right before graduation, we're starting something new. It's going to be a new tradition. It's called the Graduation Caminata. We are taking a delegation of senior students to Madison and Kennedy Elementary on June 14th. And the students will be wearing their cap and gowns. And this is an opportunity uh, for our students to be able to plant that seed of the importance of uh, pursuing your education, getting your high school diploma, and moving on to higher education. The teachers and the students at the elements are really excited of seeing our students go back to their schools, and I've heard that our students are really excited for going back and contributing to uh, planting that seed. So we're really excited, and I know it's going to be a great year. We wish you the best of luck. Have a great year, Centurions. Thank you, Ms. Manchapa. Hi, Centurions. I'm back, and I'm here with Bernardo. So, Bernardo, are you going to come? Yeah. And do you have your tux ready? Um, what color are you going to wear? I don't know. You don't know what color you're going to wear? No. And did you already pay your prom ticket? Yeah. Who are you going with to prom? One of my friends. Okay, well, some chance if you go to prom, stay tuned for Bernardo. And I hope you guys have fun. Well, before we go, here's the quote of the week. Ability may get you to the top, but it takes character to keep you there. And that was said by Steve Wonder. And Stevie Wonder's birthday is tomorrow. Yay. Well, that's cool <laughs> to know. Yeah, well, until next time, Centurion. Bye. Bye.
Okay. <laughs>